then that the question is how am i going to start learning tagalog Kumusta? Ako si Albine. In this episode, I'm going to give you 5 tips on how to start learning Tagalog. Are you ready? Let's begin. Uh, my suggestion if you are a beginner Tagalog, listen, listen very carefully because all my words are repet- repetitive anyway. Paulit-ulit. <laughs> repetitive, like for example, how to greet uh, uh, a local, Filipino local, you say mabuhay, although mabuhay is not often a greeting in the Philippines, but it's nice that you will say mabuhay. So, uh, somehow or for sure, Filipino people will be able to appreciate that mabuhay. To me, the way I encourage you as a beginner, increase your vocabulary and all the repetitions that I give to you. That's all right. Yes, um, I understand you don't uh, remember it one time. So, yes, repeat and repeat. Like, for example, I say, magandang gabi. Magandang gabi. Magandang gabi means good evening. Good evening. And of course, kumusta. Kumusta. Kumusta means how are you. So for beginners, things like that. Repetition. Magandang umaga, Asia. Magandang umaga, Pilipinas. Yeah. Maybe you or you have been really... Um, learning Tagalog for a while and like in, uh, in, in you're introducing yourself in Tagalog like I would say ako si Albine uh, kumusta ka uh, for example uh, for example Pedro kumusta ka Pedro ikinagagalak kitang makilala so you say that kind of uh, script right uh, ikinagagalak kitang makilala Pedro or sometimes you would also say ikinagagalak kitang makilala Albine uh, the truth is, we really don't say that. We as Filipinos, uh, uh, being uh, as new to the group or being introduced uh, to a new friend, we don't, hindi, hindi namin sinasabi yun. We don't say, ikinagagalang kitang makilala. My commentary on that is that it just existed because ikinagagalak is the direct translation. When you say here in English, nice to meet you or i'm glad to meet you or i'm pleased to meet you so yeah i think if you were really wanted to translate that it will goes down to ikinagagalak kitang makilala so as filipinos and especially things like that uh, getting to know a new person we don't we don't say so don't bother too much uh, about saying nice to meet you to meet you or ikinagagalak kitang mahilala don't bother too much about that it's really not part of our yes uh, being in touch with a new friend no don't no no it's just uh, us uh, filipinos we, it just show us being friendly like uh, picking one item that's interesting to start a conversation like your nose, matangos ang ilong, something like that. Ang puti mo. Ang ganda ng buhok mo, something like that. Ang ganda ng buhok mo, <laughs> yes. And Yes, or also, also like a simple question as saan ka nakatira? Where where is your residence or saan ka nanggaling? Those are the kind of uh, how would you like to start a conversation with Filipino? Things that at a personal level to us it's okay, but if you're not part of the culture, you can be 
it can be uncomfortable to you but please i really just want to for i am ambassador <laughs> ambassador between filipinos and foreigner yeah be used to it filipinos want information at a very personal level yes kumain ka na things like that did you eat san ka nakatira kailan ka uuwi when are you going home kailan ka babalik may asawa ka na are you married dalaga ka ba single ka ba binata ka ba yes those things and i hope you answer you appreciate that and maybe you are thinking of hiring a tutor well i can commit few days to work with you i have developed few programs for beginners and intermediate students of tagalog language you can find more information about these programs and of course about me through my website albinebodo.com and if you are new in this channel please hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell notification as well so you don't miss any of the episodes that i can bring you in the future here on youtube